We're back out here on Mexico and today we're going to start hunting for the bighorn sheep early in the morning and then as time goes on later in the afternoon we're going to go after some white tail bucks. All right we got our first sign of a bighorn sheep out here and we have two rams. There's one right here at 300 and another one right there at 300 as well. Now what I'm noticing is a lot of these bighorn are basically coming in the same exact spots as the mule deer come. So the mule deer typically come down here and drink and right now we have bighorns here. The only thing is, they're kind of behind that cactus there. I mean, yeah, we could potentially take the shot, and we're definitely going to try. But I don't know how good this is going to work out. <laughs> Just freaking rolled him. Rolled him right over. <laughs> oh, that's a good one there. Come on, give me a Texas heart shot. Oh, we got intestine. I cannot believe we just freaking yes he's down doubled up baby Woo! can someone say triple now you guys might think it's kind of funny the fact that I got so excited over making that drop shot right through that cactus but we've taken several shots like that and nine times out of ten what happens is we hit the cactus and we don't get penetration, it just stops the bullet right there, and we never get the animal. But in this case here, I mean, the fact is, we just crumbled that thing. Alright, so there should be three of them over here. There's one right here, one right there, and the other one ran a little ways. I don't know if we'll find them or not, but this is the one that we took right through the cactus. And we hit him in the spinal cord, of course, that makes perfect sense. 303R, spinal cord shot, but a 121, so he wasn't big enough to be a gold anyways. And then this one here is the second one he might have been closer to a gold 129 almost gold potential but just not quite took him at 312 yards quartering away that actually did turn out to be a pretty amazing texas heart shot right there and we got blood here i do believe it's probably going to go down so we should probably track it down just because it's just the right thing to do and yeah there he is laying right there he actually didn't go too far at all probably ran about 80 yards and circled back and piled up right here Kind of curious where we hit him though because it looked to be a good shot 122 and yeah we were high it's always good to be able to take down a coyote whenever you see one because one it's going to help you become more accurate and two it's going to help you make a lot of cash we got one out there at about 300 it's so hard to time it just right on these things i mean we might get a follow-up here but in all honesty I don't even know where to aim at this distance. What we might do is actually hope for him to turn back around. He does that, and then we could potentially take a shot. Got him. Come on, tell me that connected. I mean, I know we hit him, but how good did we hit him? I don't see him. He's going down. He's going down. Man, that was one epic shot. And actually, if you look really closely right there, that might be a rooster pheasant. Oh, what do we got out here now? We actually have another coyote walking out there next to a gobbler. But this one is 350. However, this one is not exactly trotting. Wow. <laughs> we just smoked that thing. 350 yards on the walk just dropped him right on the spot there's also a mule deer out there too and oh that's a max weight gobbler definitely down potential and i do believe we might try and get him well it seems that our max weight gobbler is definitely on the move he's actually out there trotting at about 150 yards out where in the heck is he going oh got a bighorn there as well so i'm wondering if maybe they stopped so I'm pretty sure that our bighorn sheep might be down here because it just put out a warning call right below us here somewhere. I don't know if it's the same one or a different one. But I kind of want to find out. See, we got tracks there from a bighorn and tracks there from... I think a mule deer. Those might be mule deer tracks, actually. But what's calling down here is definitely a bighorn. Yep, there's the muley doe. I definitely hear it walking. But where? I don't know. It's right there. It's right there. 20 yards away. Come on. 
Get your bow out. Draw back. Draw back. And let one fly. <laughs> he was quartering so much that I basically held it right on his hind quarter. And we ended up smoking him. Got a nice long liver shot. And he didn't go 25 yards and piled up right here. All right. That should be the same bighorn that we saw before. And it's going to be him. But he's not going to be a gold. A left lung shot at 23 yards out. I didn't even know this was possible. How is this possible? We took a quartering away shot on top of the hill and we hit the opposite lung. Like we shot right through both lungs and we didn't hit the first one and caught the top of the lung. I guess like somehow that might be possible, but I honestly didn't think that would be possible. I thought for sure if we took that angle, we would have to catch intestine, liver and lung, but we literally missed everything and caught the back lung. <laughs> I mean, I'll still take it. All right, there he is right there. We're actually about 90 yards out from this gobbler. He's sitting there bedded right on the side of this road here, which we're in a perfect spot, but I just want to get to a little bit more cover because right now if we crouched up, we'd be pretty visible. So if we slide over a little bit more, we should be pretty much perfect. Also, the wind is pushing slightly left, so we'll definitely have to hold a little bit right. I think this is going to be our spot though. We're going to go for an 85 yard shot from right here. And that is our gobbler. All right, let's crouch up, draw back, and let one fly. We got him. We got him. Nice shot, and the big gobbler is hit. Now we just got to watch him go down. Keep an eye on him. And he's down. All right, let's go get him. So here's our nice gobbler down. We took him at about 85 yards out, a 4.3 gold, a massive gold. Not quite big enough for a diamond, but what a nice shot. 86 yards out. We took him down with the bow. <laughs> oh, check out that shot, guys. We almost freaking headshot him. Can you imagine that? Oh, we missed it. I mean, if you're talking, you know, if you have a broad head, you're taking out the head with that shot. there. <laughs> that thing is dropping instantly. You know, I almost forgot about this guy. This is our coyote that we took at about 350 on the walk. And it's going to be a female. You got to be kidding me right now. There's no way we pulled off a 366 yard walking double lung heart shot with the 243. That is actually very impressive, even for me. Then, of course, we have this coyote over here that we took. And this thing over here might have broke the 400 yard mark. Honestly, I don't remember how far it was when we took the shot. All I know is we didn't really have a long ways for him to go before he basically popped out of render distance. So we took the shot and I believe he ran. OK, we got blood here and there is our coyote down right there. Definitely a nice vital hit. I am so curious how far that shot actually was. Nonetheless, here it is, and we're about to find out a 346 yard right lung shot. A very nice shot right to the shoulder blade and the right lung at 346 yards. I just found another massive max weight gobbler out here at about 150 yards, and I totally just realized that we actually have the 12 gauge shotgun loaded with birdshot. So that's gonna come in pretty handy, and we're gonna try and sneak up over here. We have a perfect win, so we have a really good setup. We're going to basically try and get within about 40 yards out and take down this massive gobbler. So there's our max weight gobbler there. He's about 100 yards out from us. But not only that, I just spotted a massive ram about 300 yards to the east side of us out here. So if we take our time and make one or potentially two really good shots, I don't think that that ram's going to spook. And that's kind of my goal. We got to keep track of the time here. He's going to be drinking over here until about seven o'clock. So we have roughly 40 minutes to be able to get another 50 yards and take a really good shot on this massive gobbler. <laughs> All right, guys, you hear that? That means we're definitely getting pretty close to these gobblers here. The max weight gobbler is about 60 yards out from us here. We just got to get about 10 yards closer and we'll be in range. Oh, we got a bit of an issue here. We have a hen coming right towards us. And everyone that hunts knows when you get a hen coming too close to you, you basically got to freeze up because she could bust you and the entire flock. Holy, look at the turkeys coming. That's definitely not a hen. So that's a gobbler. And these are all hens here. But that right there is the one that we definitely want. 
Holy, we literally have an entire field full of turkeys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have about 13 turkeys right in front of us right now. Gobbler's right there. Oh, they're actually calm. So honestly, if we just stay back a little bit and swing left, we should be able to avoid this hen busting us. All right, guys, we're about to be in range. We got our gobbler right there 50 yards out from us, and I think we're going to make it happen. That's him right there. We just smoked him. I don't know why he's still standing there, but he just piled up right now, and there's some more. Oh, my. Holy, we might as well just take these all down as well. Double up, baby! <laughs> we just took down like seven turkeys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, another gobbler. Is that a gobbler? Oh, we got him! We hit him twice. He's going down. He's going down. He just piled up right there. I'm pretty sure that might have been a gobbler. It's so hard to tell sometimes because a lot of the hens have red heads here too. So you really can't tell. Oh my god. Look at the turkeys. Look at the turkeys. All right, here's this one. And that's going to be a hen. And another hen. And there's a gobbler. Nice gold. That's actually another borderline max weight gobbler. Hit him 36 times at 36 yards out. Pretty good pattern there. And a nice gobbler down. And this should be another hen. Yep, another hen. So we're actually going to swing wide right here and go over here to try and find that one that flew away on us. We got really good blood here though, so I don't think he's going to go too far. And I do believe we definitely hit him two times because I saw another shot impact. Yep, right there he is, right where we took the last shot. And he went down right here. Actually, we took the shot and he only went maybe 10 yards further and piled up right here. Actually, is it a gobbler? No, it's a hen. See, it's so difficult to tell sometimes. We hit that thing three different times, six hits there, one hit there, and a couple hits there at 94 yards out. We hit it right in the back leg. This is like the second biggest one. Hey, look at that. It's a gold. Barely, but it is a gold. 25 hits we hit him at 46 yards out. And then this one here, we probably hit him twice. Oh, you're telling me the first shot missed? I mean, I guess we might have missed. I don't know how we missed. But then the second shot, we just absolutely drilled him 15 times at 51 yards of 4.4 gold. He was definitely a max weight gobbler, 21.43 pounds. And I'm hoping, yes, he's still there. That right there is the big ram I was telling you about. He's 330 yards away, which is a perfect distance to be able to take him down with the M1 here. We'll zero in for 320 and hold it right on the heart. Smoked him. The good thing is when you hold it on the heart and you hold kind of far forward, there's really nothing you could hit except for the heart or the lung to be able to drop him because we're holding on the heart. If we're holding for the center of the lung for 320 and we accidentally hit the neck, then that could be a thing. But if you're holding for the heart, you really can't even hit the neck. So here's where we're hunting right now. We're hunting over by the Casa de la Venezuela outpost here. But what's interesting is we came from here before and we came into this position and I checked this whole lake and I didn't see anything. Then we came in from this position here and that is how we found the ram. From this point, they are over here. The turkeys, of course, were are where all the uh, the hunting pressure is at. But because we came in from that location there, no animals were able to spawn in. So that's kind of why I decided to take a different approach. And it definitely worked out good because it led us right to this big ram. And here he is right here. He's got some massive curls and a ton of mass. Maybe like a 148, maybe? 147.3 and pulled off a perfect double lug shot, just clipped the top of the heart there at 334 yards. And he's a brown as well. These guys are pretty cool. I like the brown and the black, the really big ones. That's not what I meant. 
There's a decent whitetail buck out there and he's pretty wide. He's about 400 yards out and I definitely want to try and make a heart shot here. Just because he's not a bad looking buck and also because the, the angle that we have here is going to be very difficult to make this work. But I mean, it would be so cool if we could connect on this 400 plus yard shot straight to the heart. So I definitely want to try and attempt this. I was a little bit high. But we should have gotten something solid. There goes our buck. I don't know if we got him or not. I'll be perfectly honest about that. But we should have gotten him. Ooh, far shot there. 400. I don't really know if we got those or not. Well, I just heard something jump up. Yes! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That was one epic shot. I've had so much difficulty trying to hunt these pheasants lately. And uh, we just did like a 360. Oh, you're absolutely just done. You're just completely done. Like, good night. Um, but we did like a 360 no scope pretty much on that. Is that the same pheasant? It's the same pheasant. It's a gray. A gray rooster. Well, that's pretty cool. It's only a silver though, so we're not going to mount it. But maybe we will because I don't know if it's a rare or not. So you're telling me we just shot the same one twice? So I'm not going to lie. We didn't have the greatest luck on Bighorn. We took down a big one towards the end, but uh, that was really the only decent ram that we've seen. So I thought we'd try out our luck on some white tail here. And there's not a bad looking buck right out in the front here somewhere, which is going to be that guy right there. Actually a really cool looking rack. So we're definitely going to take him down. And did you just see that? It's like the bullet went straight through that thing and he just kept on running like he wasn't even, he didn't even care. <laughs> wow, that was kind of cool actually. But at the same time, I don't believe I've actually seen this rack on uh, the whitetail before. So I'm kind of curious what it's going to look like. To me, it looks very realistic. And it almost looked like it was the, you know, like the small or big gold rack, basically. But it's the smaller version of it. So let's take a look. Oh, that's what that rack is. It's the rack that I really like, except for typically that's only an 8-point rack. And in this case here, it's a 10-point rack. So that is what's unique about this. And if you look at his right side there, you can see he has a couple of extra points there. He's got two points, one there and one there. So... It's actually a six by five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, he's a seven by five. Wow. I mean, technically, if you counted that as a point, which maybe you wouldn't, so then technically, yeah, that would be a six by five. See, I was right. I do know what I'm talking about sometimes. <laughs> Check out that shot, though. Right behind the heart. That is a very, very impressive buck. That right there is a 240 whitetail buck. 260 yards. He's slightly quartering at us, but we could definitely be able to pull off a double lung heart shot from this angle. Yep, we got him. All right, yeah, that's the biggest white tail we've seen in a long time. As you just saw, or I don't know if I showed you or not, but we saw even an even somewhat decent buck before, and I tried to pull off a really quick 300 yard shot without zeroing and I don't think we did it because it didn't go down but yeah that was like the biggest buck we've seen in the last probably an hour of hunting here but I mean what a cool feeling to be able to take down a beautiful whitetail buck and he's gonna score 236 nice double lung at 178 yards really really nice rack there's something about this buck that makes him very special and he's actually really wide He's not that big, but he's really wide. So he should still be like a 170, 180s buck. And he's about 380 yards out, which is pretty far. But we're going to go for the shot. And if we hold it for the spine. I mean, that should have been. Yeah, it was good. I was going to say, I kind of wish I was a little bit higher. But it was good. Oh, I really like that buck. 
I don't know where he came from, but I really like how wide that buck is. And another good buck there, but this one here is definitely going to be the biggest one. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh man, we just smoked him on the walk at 315 yards. Woo! So our really wide buck was walking right through here at about 315 yards and we actually took the shot right past this brush here and there he is laying right in front of us. I'm going to say we probably pulled off a heart shot. I don't really know if we could have got double lung from the angle that he was at there, but we could have. Either way, here he is, a very impressive, super wide, what looks to be a 12 point buck and double lung at 327 yards on the walk 187.6 and a great great looking buck i know it doesn't look like much but if you look closely there's a giant white tail buck right there he's 390 yards away but we really don't have a good angle for a shot so i'm thinking we might try and get his attention I don't know. I don't know if we should attempt a heart shot. Why not? I think we hit him twice. Well, whatever we hit, we definitely got him because he's down. <laughs> I don't know where we hit him, but... Uh must have been somewhere decent that kind of looks like a decent buck right there Ooh, that's definitely a decent buck right there wow that's a really decent buck right there where did he even come from so that's pretty cool i was just looking over there maybe five minutes ago and there was a bunch of deer but there was nothing with any decent sized racks on it at all so I basically passed them all up until I looked across this lake here and saw that big buck way out there. But after we took the shot, I figured, well, maybe something will spook. And all of a sudden I could see the rack. So I thought, oh, we definitely want him. And we got him. I'm not 100% about this, but if I had to guess, I would say he's probably 200 plus. I mean, maybe like a 210 or 215 score. Again, it's very difficult to tell because I couldn't spot him, but based off his rack, he looked pretty good. So here he is down right here. And yeah, that's definitely a 200 plus for sure all day long. Let's take a look at him. 218 and a double lung hard shot at 259 yards. So I do believe that's our biggest buck so far. And that actually is probably going to be bigger than the one that we just got. So here's this buck, and this one actually might break 215 as well. Um, I would have been totally wrong. This is our biggest buck of the entire hunt, 223.3, and we did connect on that first shot, going right to the heart. I mean, honestly, yeah, we pulled off a tad to the left there, but still, even if we had more penetration, it would have kept going, and it would have hit the heart and potentially the liver. But that is our biggest buck of the hunt so far. 296 yard right lug shot. And that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.